Designed by a team of thousands at a cost of billions, the Apollo mission seemingly did the impossible. But if there'd been a fire on the launch pad, Neil and Buzz would have had to slide down a bit of rope to escape. In 40 years, man's technology has made really giant leaps. To see quite how giant, we visited London Science Museum to see space curator Doug Millard. The jewel in his crown is the Apollo 10 command module. It went into space just months before Armstrong, Aldrin and Collins. It looks a bit rusty, it looks old, it looks like it might not work. Yeah. How primitive is this thing? Well, for the, for the time it was the most advanced vehicle in the world. This spacecraft had to keep three guys alive for a, a journey to the moon and back, but it was also the, the, uh, the control centre for, for the mission. What sort of computer whack did this thing have? Well, compared to uh, the computers we know and love today, um, this was very, very primitive. It had, only had a few K of, of memory, for example, whereas today we'd get the same, I don't know, on a, on a washing machine or... Well, so, this, so this, this oh, defeats this in terms of memory oh, power. Oh, so by times. orders of magnitude, yes. Weight must have been key here. Well, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, the weight penalty was something which um, uh, they were thinking about the whole time through the development of Apollo and they had to keep shaving off uh, instruments, uh, bits of structure to save weight. So with, with this thing they, it was no exception. That first moon landing then was a delicate balancing act. In fact the Eagle landed with just 25 seconds of fuel to spare. New Scientist Editor Roger Highfield is still astonished at the achievement. Very simple technology by today's standards and actually for me that's what makes Apollo really remarkable because it seemed incredible back in 1969 and now in 2009 it seems even more incredible that they managed this feat. But there's one feat of ingenuity we couldn't help wondering about. When the Eagle really needs to land, where's Apollo's bathroom? I'm not guessing you get much privacy if you can't sit down and read a newspaper for five minutes, can you? No, these guys had to be made of the right stuff and uh, for, for the urine uh, that was vented overboard but for the solid stuff it was down to a plastic bag which they taped to their, their bum and then they had to seal it, bring it back down to earth. Forty years on and the mind still boggles.